are we? considering the circumstances, splits, not bad, right? Yeah, not bad. Obviously, after you win the first one, you want to get greedy and get the second one. I thought it was a game we could have won. Uh, just didn't get it done. You know, didn't come up with the big stops when we needed to. Down the stretch, turned it over too much. So, uh, you know, um, I guess maybe the best way to say it is pleased, not satisfied. Uh, all these games, are, at least like the last four losses, have been pretty close to all about like two points. Is is, is a late game execution something you guys are adjusting to when you're in short hand is there? Uh, maybe a little bit. You know, I think it's more about, for us, um, getting the big stops, getting the big rebounds we need to, uh, making the big plays. So I, I guess you could say it's a little bit of an adjustment um, because we'd won so many close games early, but it's just something we got to get through. And I, and I think it's, it's, it's about defensive stops for us. Fatigue uh, factor in the, you think? Uh, great question. Um, can't be tired. No excuses. So, no, fatigue's not one of them. <laughs> That's how I'd answer that is, is yeah, we're, we, this time of year you always worry about your guys getting worn down. But, uh, you know, we're, we're not going to make that excuse. Does it really help relieve the guard depth when you have a guy like Jordan Scott able to come in and play that small forward role? Yeah, yeah, it does. And, and uh, that's helped us tremendously. And Jordan's been playing – Playing well, I thought he played well over the weekend, and, and uh, yeah, you know he's a kind of a multi-positional guy that can that can um, play both spots, and and he's helped us in that in the small forward spot, that's for sure. Uh, I've been a few weeks uh, now. Any update on Darion? Not 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 anything new. Um, you know he's out of his boot, like I think I told you that last week. Um, he's moving around a little bit more. Um, you know, they went to the doctor again on Monday. It looks like it's, you know, we're a week to two more weeks out on, on both him and Vic. So, as Vic's timetable, a little bit more? You know, it all just depends on how the x rays go. Um, you know, the x ray last week was, was, it looks like it's healing, but it's not ready yet. So, we'll, we're going to x ray it again on Monday and kind of see where it's at. It's, um, I guess, optimistically speaking, I'm hoping it's sooner than later. But to, to give you a definite, is it moved up? I can't say that yet. As the, uh, as the conference season kind of winds down, you battle for that, that, that buy in, in the tournament this weekend uh, seems pretty big. It's huge. Yeah, you know, if, uh, we have to have a strong finish. Uh, five out of our last seven at home, we've got to have a strong finish. Um, you know, against all good teams, uh, Northern Colorado and North Dakota are both playing good basketball. Uh, North Dakota is you know, beat Weber at, at home the other night. They're playing really good uh, going into last week. Uh, Northern Colorado had won four in a row. Um, so they're both playing good good basketball. Then we go on the road, and then we we, we finish with three of the best teams in the conference to, to finish out the conference season. So these these last seven are big. Uh, encouraging uh, weekend for Art? Yeah, yeah, very encouraging. He's getting better and better. By the game, um, you know, he's got in foul trouble on on Thursday, but was very productive in the minutes he played. I thought he played maybe to this point in the season. I'm trying to think back through the games, but probably his best game at Northern Arizona. It seemed like he was really good using spin moves, using his offhand. I mean, were you just kind of telling him just go at the basket? You know, touch your foot? Always the case with Ark. Be aggressive. You know, that's never changed all year long. Be aggressive. And and uh, it was nice to see his ball go in. I thought he, again, I thought he was really aggressive. I, you know, he, he struggled a little more defensively than he did a year ago. But it, but it, that's coming. And I think as he gains confidence in what he can do, I, I think we're going to, you know, we're going to get a good good product the rest of the way. When you go back and look at film the last time, you know, you open the conference schedule against North Dakota and North Colorado, anything pop out at you, something that you guys can use this weekend? Um, I don't know if there's any one thing in particular. Um, we played pretty good on the road. I was proud of our guys, uh, you know, um, but not any one particular thing. You know, I think the thing that we got to we gotta do against both teams is we got to stop them in transition. They're both very good in the open court. North Dakota was a game that you guys were able to, to find those late-minute, you know, plays to, to win the game. Is that something that you guys can take? 
know, with confidence going into this weekend? Yeah, we, we, we did that in both games, really. Uh, you know, we were able to finish both games very well, um, and, and hopefully we can do that again. We made our free throws uh, in both games. Perion made a bunch of free throws at Northern Colorado. He made a big play at the end of the North Dakota game. Um, yeah, you know, like I told our guys yesterday in a meeting, hey, we can do this. It's like Michael Sean said earlier, we've lost four games by two points. Uh, what we got to do is just, just keep grinding, keep going. Uh, you know, it's, it's right there for us. Can you speak to um, Ty's rise out of the, the bench? Well, well, Ty's played well. You, you know, it, like I tell guys all the time, you, you know, your, your opportunity is going to come. And, uh, you know, it's your advantage or your job as a player to take advantage of that opportunity. And Ty's done a great job of that. Uh, he's, he's, he's played very good basketball, um, you know, since he's been in the starting lineup. Uh, I, I think Ty's had his best season uh, that he's had at the University of Idaho this year. Where do you see him, like, growing as a player? Well, he, he's, he's really matured as a person, and, and that's helped his mental state where he can consistently bring it every day. And I think that's what we've seen from Ty. I think watching him in the three years before, he's shown flashes of being really good. He hasn't done it consistently, and now he's starting to do it consistently. So I would say that's where he's made his biggest improvement is, is consistently night after night going out and being able to get us some, some points and some rebounds. Jake Strong got a little bit of minutes uh, this weekend. Is that mainly just because Chris got his foul trouble, or did you want to see what he can do a little bit more? Uh, Jake played in both games. Uh, yeah, a little bit of both. You know, Chris got hurt in the in the Thursday game, and and that was uh, so Jake played a little bit more. But uh, you know, it, it, with our shorthanded, you know, we're a little shorthanded there with with P and Vic being out. Jake's going to get his opportunity. You, you did mention uh, Chris had a little bit of a neck injury. What, what was that specifically? Well, he flipped over a guy. He, he jumped on a shot fake and flipped over a guy at uh, at uh, Southern uh, Utah and uh, landed on his back and his neck. And so uh, our trainer did a great job, and, and they got him into some, uh, a chiropractor and a physical therapist, and we worked on him for two days, really, to, to get him ready to play um, on Saturday. And Chris was tough. I mean, he was, he was hurt, and his neck was sore. He wasn't, he wasn't injured. He was, just, he was just sore as heck through his, through his neck and upper back, but he's, he's fine now. Anything else for Coach? Good, thanks. See you guys on Thursday. Pretty good Super Bowl, huh? Yeah.